Welcome to the Nike EYBL Scholastic at the Pete Hollis Showcase on ESPN+. Plus. From Legacy Early College, the start of our three-day event, 10 games over the next three days, and we get it all started with eighth-ranked Brewster taking on Canyon International Academy. Hello, everyone. We welcome you into Legacy Early College with Reginald Walker, Jr. I'm Noah Reed. Great to have you with us here for the first of our 10 games over the course of the next three days. And you won't find better high school basketball anywhere, Reggie. You're talking about six nationally ranked teams, tons of four- and five-star recruits. Yeah, this is the future of basketball, and not just in the United States, internationally as well. The amount of players from different parts of the world that are here and a part of this event doesn't get much better than the Pete Hollis Showcase in terms of being able to see the talent of the future of this sport. Yeah, a lot of guys recruited to or have offers to high major programs, a lot of four and five star recruits like we mentioned. So tons of great talent and we get you looking at the starting lineups now brought to you by Nike and first for Brewster Academy. Elijah Crawford's the point guard that leads the way, but they've got the seven-footer Daniel Jacobson in the middle. Yeah, Daniel Jacobson is the perfect fit for what Matt Painter wants to do at Purdue. That's where he is signed to go. Zach Eady carrying on that legacy from Zach Eady that's there right now. It's going to be fun to watch him develop over the next few years at, in, at Purdue. And on the other side for Canyon International, they've got two guys, Amir Ali and Jayon Pitt, who are four-star recruits. Yeah, Jayon Pitt, to me, his ability and athleticism to finish around the rim, and then he can stretch you out as well. I think he's a super talented kid. I would say his recruiting is a little bit less than probably I would expect by the end of his career. He's one of those guys, just a junior, watch him over the next year and a half or so really explode. Point. Here Ali sizes up a three and he connects on the first jumper for the, on the day for Canyon International. Yeah, the folks at Arizona State are going to love him. He can shoot the basketball like we talked about, but don't get it twisted. He can put it on the floor as well and a really, really good communicator defensively. Top 50 player in this year's senior class. Noyes Instradeus with the first bucket. Thockbore, 15 foot jumper from the elbows, too strong. Andrew Sadis, the rebound for Brewster, and he looks to push. Andrew Sadis had it swiped away from him. Already the second steal for Sadler. The Euro, and he goes off the window. Excellent body control, that kind of athleticism is what they're going to need to see at the next level as Crawford comes right back with a little float game, as they say. Situation's a little bit better, keep himself out of foul trouble, but he'll learn a lot at San Diego State. That's a great coaching staff. They really understand how to develop players there. Paul Osarui checks in for him. Crawford falling away, tried to bank it in. Jacobson with the offensive rebound and the stick back. That's exactly what Jacobson's going to need to do when he gets to Purdue, he's going to have to attack that glass. The number six center in the class of 2024. I love the fit for him at Purdue. Ali drops it. Here's Jayon Pitt blocked away. It was Jacobson down low, made impact on both ends of the floor. Yeah, and Matt Painter has got to love seeing that wherever he is right now. A big guy that's already shown the ability to go to the offensive glass as well as block shots in that middle. Aristo to Jacobson, and a foul on the floor goes against Canyon International. The other thing is you watch Brewster, particularly on offense, they're running a lot of motion-based sets, continuing continuous movement, which is going to hold well for these players at the college level because that's what they're going to have to be able to play in and fit into. Aristo with the reverse off the inbound, four-star recruit. Nice catch and finish. Good athleticism and body control there by Ariston. Fall away jumper. This is George left it short and boarded by Crawford, who wants to run. Aristode one more. Andrew Sadis gives it back to Aristode in the lane. Scoops it up with the left off the window. Switching hands in the air. The athleticism. Aristode putting on a show already was previously unranked in Paul Biancardi's ESPN Top 60 for the junior class, but he's up to 19 now. That's up top for the slam for Osarui. The vision by Sadler to understand and read it, right? That's what you have to do as a guard. Read the coverage. Bigman comes over, throw the lob, let your big guy go get it. Excellent read. 
Osar Rui with offers to Arizona State, Oklahoma State, and Cal State Northridge. Comes off the bench because of foul trouble to Thorkbor early, and it's Jacobson with the flush. Body at Purdue. Oh, and he really could be only a junior. Reclassified up from the 2025 class right. up to 2024. Andrew Sadis bounces. This is a mid-range jumper on the baseline. It's off the mark from Wilkins, but the tip-in is there for Jacobson. To get it through. Jacobson getting his first well-deserved rest. Kick out the three. Andrew Sadis nails it at the Iowa State commit. Talk about kids shooting. Shot clock is turned off. Under 10 seconds to play before the end of quarter. Andrew Sadis attacks on the baseline with three to shoot. Wraps it around and in. A great finish to the first quarter for Brewster and the Bobcats who fell behind early. <laughs> Crawford works it into Fowler. Kick to an open throw from the corner and it's rattled in by Charlie Pugh. Way deep, in and out. Here goes Crawford off, hearts into the lane, flips it in with the left hand. And you, did you see voice communicative on the defensive end of the floor? That's going to be a key. If you're going to play for a Hurley, you better communicate defensively. And if you're going to pay for Matt Painter, you got to be able to shoot the three, and the seven-footer can do that. <laughs> yeah, it's not that he has only a couple power five offers right, but just a sophomore, like you said. Tippin won't go there on the rebound, but an offensive rebound for Jacobson. Here's Jacobson. Got it right back. No, but he tips in his own miss. Let me tell you something. If... George works off the ball screen. Here's Sadler way behind the three, pushes it in. How about Sadler, huh? Been impressive so far in this game. My player class, the ESPN top 60. Crawford crosses over a teardrop. <laughs> the whole time he was actually not Vanisalis falling away. That's a tough fadeaway jumper. He drills it. Yeah, it looked smooth, comfortable as he did it. It's not an even, but he looked like he was at home. Sadler and Pitt with a little screen roll. Sadler love it, Thockmore. Night with 11. Crawford zips it out. Extra pass. Injures Sadis for three, and he sticks. Sadler uses the ball screen, elevates for three. It's all net. Sadler's, <laughs> he's just, he seems like he's kind of. Wilkins got the defender in the air. Hesitates on the baseline, injures Sadis from the corner. He's got two in the quarter. And once again, Crawford was looking down. It's a great sequence from him. It started with the steal, and then it turned into the assist for him. Tough shot. Noah George the float. Canyon wants to run. Sadler to the corner, George spots up, hits the fadeaway three in the corner. How about this group from... Andrew Sadis drives right past him this time, up with the left, no. Battle for the rebound, Wilkins has a chance at three. That ball was still up there on the rim. Pitt is backing down. Goes up against the seven-footer Jacobson. Here's Crawford leaving his feet. Got it back in the corner and connects. That's, that is about as well done. Team high 12 in the game now. Spot up three. Andrew Yersen. Saw Rui off the mark. I'd like to see him get downhill a little bit more. Hill in a hurry. Jacobson missed the first tip in, got his own Mick Crawford off the window and in. How about Crawford, how quickly he was able to... Crawford snatches the rebound. Has been properly taught how to play with the in that free throw line jumper. Trying to cut it down to 10 or even falling forward here. Now takes the deep two and he knocks it. It's what have you continued to add to your game? 
Sadler with the left hand. Absolute truth. And look, done offensively in the second half in particular. As you see the block. That's way deep. Sadler short. For back to Andrew Satis. Um, and puts it in the Purdue. Is put it down. Ali uh, puts it. Say this the Iowa State commit absorbs the contact and one. This kid. six point game, five. This one's off the mark. And there's one who is inbounded, and the eighth ranked team in the country will escape. They do exactly. 